you know, getting up, that was certainly the most public outing I'd had of my addiction up until that point. I mean, I'll talk to anyone about it now, but I think that was, that was the, the most public I'd made it. Put your hands together, this is expert label. Tom, I'm in the green room and you want to come in? Green room, cool. Yeah, see you here. Bye. So that will be a cross on the stage, uh, on the dice. Make sure you stand on that cross, that mark, because that's where the camera is pointing. Remember that these talks are videoed and um, so the audio that we get from your mic is the primary one. This is a very exclusive club because that's only about 100 odd people who have done this. So welcome. It's nice. So chillax and enjoy. You're going to be awesome. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hi. Um, so, was anybody here when I did my talk last year? Yay! Brilliant. Okay. So, those of you that were here last year would have heard me talking about my tattoos, but not this one. And this is the story of this tattoo and why this tattoo is so important in my life. I was 32 when my brother died, he was 30, and at that time, I didn't realise it, but I was already battling quite significant mental health problems. I was certainly heading down and to an early grave, there's no doubt about it, whether it would have been through health issues or by suicide, I was going that way, without a doubt. Red, wine, cider, generally my drinks of choice, I drank a lot of them, an awful lot. I'm doing this talk. Partly because I want to share my story of, of my brother and how my brother's death led me to this walking. But also partly because I know how good it is for people. After Richard died, I was lost. We were all completely lost. And I used to spend hours sitting around the table drinking tea with my mum. And one day, I got a bit fed up of endless cups of tea and sadness. And I said, Mum, please do take me for a walk. But it was that discovery of walking that that started it all that started me on the path to healing and that was caused by my brother's death so you know you could argue my brother started me on my healing journey we walked up a mountain I nearly died but I actually by the time I got to the top of this mountain I'd fallen in love and it gave me this amazing tool for healing and it became my bereavement therapy if you are looking for a way to feel good about yourself, to feel good physically, to feel good mentally, and I promise you, no matter what the weather, no matter what is going on in your life, if you get out into nature, walk for a few miles, you're going to feel better at the end of it. So get out and go for a good walk. Thank you very much. We learn and we grow through talking to each other. And as long as the, the real issues that affect us are kept under the covers, we can't grow and we can't heal from them. And we only, you know, we're meant to heal each other. We're meant to support each other. We can't do that if we're not sharing our stories. 